it's interesting doing it because I've done a lot of interviews and things on telling that. And people, or ge you haven't, but people generally ask, is there a secret? How did you do it? You know, that kind of thing. And what I've sort of realised is, is that there, there just isn't a secret or a anything. It's just lots of small things usually done well. But people are not patient enough, or don't see, or most people aren't patient enough to do those tiny small things uh, well. And then you gradually see, you know, the bigger picture and the bigger picture and the bigger picture. Like playing, a, say, you want to be a, a tennis player. You see them at Wimbledon, uh, you know, holding the trophy up and earning all the money and so on. But no one ever shows you the shots of them when they were three years old, hitting a tennis ball against the wall for eight hours, and then you know, knocking themselves out for the next fifteen years or however long it takes, eight hours a day, practice, practice, practice. You're uh, the prima ballerina, so you see the photos in the magazines and you see her dancing and it's fabulous and all the rest of it. But you don't see her feet and you don't see the fact that she, you know, she's crippled half the time and she's been working since she was three and so on. Um, and they're all the small bits that enable you to get to that bit and uh, you know that top bit and that glamorous bit and I think business is a little bit like that you know you see people who sell out for however much money they sell out for have all the success but you never see all the bits and people rarely ask about that because it's not very interesting so they want to know that there's this one secret that took you from there to there and there just isn't there's lots of little steps all along the way